Hi, this is Coach Michael, Andrea, Mariana, thank you for joining us today. Before we get started, let me share some really important things. First, this routine is not designed for everyone. It's only designed for men who want to be strong, with a six-pack, flexible and coordinated, and only for women who want to be slender, toned, with flat abs, and also flexible and coordinated. And it's only for those who want to exercise from home, doing a mix of strength or toning exercises, and basic movements from yoga, martial arts, dance, or sports for coordination and flexibility. On the blog, there are body weight exercises so that you can still exercise with us without equipment. Click on the link below the video for the video to join us as we do the full routine. Thank you ahead of time for liking and sharing the video or giving us some suggestions as how to improve. Let's get started. I'll be teaching Andrea and Mariana the woman's part of the routine for the first time. Follow me for the man's part. So the first one for the guy is going to be doing push-ups with what I call the chest expander. So what we have on this is we have two bands. You can have one band, which is a lot less, or you can have three, which would be a lot more. So this will basically be giving some resistance in addition to my own body weight. So a good way to get down is like this, and you want to put one hand down, and then get the other one down. And so what you're going to do is do um, basically a push-up motion. You want to get it so it's underneath the palm of your hand, go up, and then go down, keeping your body in a plank. When you're done doing that, because what's likely going to happen is that you might find that you, if you have it on two or three, depending on your strength, you may find that it's a little challenging. Um, that will be interspersed with explosive push-ups, which will be in and out. So if you want it easier, you'll go lower, and you'll be doing in, out. Or if you want it a little bit more difficult, you'll be going in, and then out again. So you'll be combining those two together. Thank you. While I'm doing that, the girls will be doing skippy sprawl, um, forward, back kick. And you actually have an option of holding the sandbag. Um, well, you'd have to put it down while you sprawl. But let's, let's go through both options. So option one, no sandbag. So skippy is simply, we can all do it together. Um, Skippy is just move your feet fast. Skippy, sprawl. Thank you so much. Is you're gonna, you're gonna, you want to be looking at the person, so you put your hands down and go back. Maybe like that. So sprawl. Then you're gonna come back up again. And now you're gonna do a kick forward. So kick. Then you're gonna turn around. Someone's behind you, and you're gonna kick. All right. First thing, we're just doing it lightly. But when we do it, what we really want to do is get some intensity behind it. So let's do the kick, sprawl, sprawl, and kick. Like, pretend I'm a bad guy. Skippy, sprawl, kick. Yeah, skippy, sprawl, and then kick. So we really want to see, and I'll do it to the side. So go ahead, here, so boom, good. Now turn around, good. Mariana, let's go. And if you want to scream when you kick, it's okay. Good, kick. Ooh, that was good. I like that one. Good. Yeah. So we want, we want, we want that intensity so that this, is, this could be practical. Meaning, if you ever had to use that kick, you have it. The second option what we have is skippy sprawl sprawl with the sandbag. If you feel that's too easy for you, then what you have is an option. So what you'd be doing is you could hold it here, hold it here, hold it here. You can even hold it above your head. So let's just say we're holding it above our head. Um, let's just, let's just do it there. This is a lot better for posture. So we'd be skipping. Now we'd put it down on the ground. Sprawl. Come back up. Now I'm going to hold it. Kick. Turn around. Kick. And it'll come back and do it. So it adds another element and it really makes us focus on keeping the abdominals tight. So do you want to do it once like that? You know? <laughs> and let, let me do a sandbag. 
So you can see which ones you like. I think you got the heavy sandbag. That's a light and this is heavy. Good. So you have an option. Okay. Next exercise in the circuit, the guy's movement, is um, sandbag out straight or press. Um, and it, we'll all be doing it together. So let's go ahead and let's all lay down on our backs. Let me get the, oh, I have the sandbags again. So we're all going to go back into a, basically we'll be, we'll be on the ground like this. And we're going we're gonna to hold this. If you have a big bag like this, you're going to need to grip the side, which is good to work on your grip. You have grips. All right, so we'll hold it above your head. You're going to sit up, push, go down slowly, and then repeat. That's it. So let, let, let me see it one, one, one time. Good, it's good. <laughs> okay, good. Up and up. The next one is the one arm push up using the TRX for the guys. And the one arm push up is simply where you're going to have your opposite arm and leg um, in the TRX. So we'll put my my right foot in the TRX, you really want to have it extended as far as you can or else you'll find that you're too high up and you really can't do a push up. So um, from here, I put my hand right here so I'm a little lower down. And simply what we're going to be doing is we're going to crunch, coming in, coming out, going down, and coming back up again. So that would be the one arm TRX push up with crunch, excuse me. Um, while I'm doing that, you'll be doing the sandbag in and out of the equalizers. So you'll have the equalizer down, and let me demonstrate it in the middle. So you have the, the, you'll throw the equalizer down on the ground, and what you'll simply do is you'll have the sandbag in your hands. I, my, my preference would be holding it straight up above your head so you can see. So here's one, here's two, and I'll use a pink one actually, just for demonstrations purposes, <laughs> because the big one doesn't have grips. Okay. So we're going to hold it above our heads, and we're going to look down just for a second, but then keep our abdominals in, and we're going to go in, out, in, out, then we're going to go, hold that, hold, hold that. Let me move this a little to the side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you'll have a lot of space because I won't be doing this. Then you're going to go out, out, out. As fast as you can go. Intensity, fast. Really good. <laughs> fast. And really important is hold, tighten this. Hold tight, 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 tight. tight tighten that and really tighten, tighten those so that you, you, you keep your back straight. I mean, your, your back protected. Good. Motion like, 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 that, like this. You're going up. And of course, you can do it without using the sandbags if you I want. Think that jumps a lot there. So if you want, you can do it, no sandbag. Okay. Um, the next one, we're all going to do, we'll, we'll all do together. It's going to be a forward fall and then a kick kick. So yeah. this, this has a practicality um, of some, some movements, some basic, some, that are movements are derived from basic uh, self-defense. And the movement would be um, basically, we'll, we'll break it down into three, into three steps. Okay. First step is you're going to fall. So you could be falling 
to start in practice, if you feel more comfortable or if it's a little weird to be falling from this height, then what you want to do is just go down on your knees like this, and then you're going to fall. And when you fall, you want to fall with your hands as, as um, like this, not, not like this, because you can hurt your wrist, and not like this, because then you're going to slam your forearm. So, so like a little bit, so that you're, you, um, you go to, to a forearm pretty quickly. And you want to turn your head, don't look forward because you could hurt your nose. Turn to the side. So you go like that. And then from here, you're going to quickly flip over. And you're going to have one foot up, turn to the side so you can kick the person in the knees. So you kick him once, kick him once in the knees. Then you're going to roll over to the side you just kicked. And now you're going to be up on one knee. You're going to kick him in the knees again. And you're going to get up really quickly. And you're going to kick twice, one, two, and boom, we're going to repeat the same exercise. So, you want to see it one more time? No, no, no. You. Oh, I'm going to say, let's see it. <laughs> I, I saw, kind of saw you do it. You did it great. So, do you want to do it? You want to do it, don't you? No, no, no. That was a, okay. So, that's the motion, and we'll be doing the, all that together. Okay. So you can the next exercise it. for the guy is going to be um, using the TRX with the chest push fly. And we're going to combine, while well, you can do this, you can have your feet up on a chair, um, we're, all, we're going to be using the equalizer for this. And what you're going to want to do is, is raise this up to where it's about in the middle position, uh, about level, a little bit higher than level with the, um, the, the equalizer. Ah, thank you so much. You just, just, just simply put your feet up on here, I'd say put up on, get, try to get up on your toes if you can, kind of the balls of your feet. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go down, up and then come in. That's it. Um, well, I'm doing that, you get another fun exercise, which you're gonna, you're gonna be using the, so I'll get the bags again. I got my bag. And then we have the options. Bag. Thank you. Bag. Actually, I should be doing this with my, with my weight. I'm going to go back to black bags. Okay. So what we're simply going to be doing here is this is great for the thighs. So we're going to be going, if you want here, let me go on that one. If you can see, you can see me. We'll be going to touch, 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 touch. Some keys here is try to come out to the side as far as you can. Do it fast. Keep your abdominals tight. But fast. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you're really, really pushing that to get some speed into it. I didn't see you do it. I want to see. Because this way we can make sure this form is perfect. I'm not just doing it to, to be faster. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Really good. Très bien. Okay. Next, um, TRX uh, tricep dips to uh, band burnout. So, um, step one would be, well, I'd say step one would be having both things at the same time. Yeah, please, thanks. Um, totally up or? Totally up. And you can, do, you can do these dips as well, as you know, with the equalizer. So, um, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, what we're simply going to be doing is, well, I don't need to do that, I have. Let me hold it down. Is, um, get about right here. What we're doing is uh, tricep dips and doing them with your knees up. So you'd be going down and up. You can also do it if you can with your legs straight out and go down. Well, if you can go straight out, more power to you. But the idea would be keeping your feet off the ground while you're doing it. And you can do the same motion with the equalizer. Once you are doing this, and let's say you get to a point where you can't do anymore, instead of putting your feet down, what you'd simply do is just go up here throw the bands up, and then let me do it to the side, 
keep your elbows in and you'll burn it out going down as many as you can do the lower you can go I meaning squat down a little bit and get more range of motion even the better and the more you keep your elbows in the better form you're using and again as always you want to keep your your abdominals really tight as you do that while I'm doing that you'll be doing the uh, the slalom skis which is as close as we can get in the living room to be water skiing so simply what you're going to be doing is you'd be getting into your slalom ski first get into the slalom ski get the other one in and you're going to get back into slalom as if you had a boat in front of you and then you're going to go down touch the water touch the water touch the water and touch the water and that's it that's the motion really easy <laughs> <laughs> There you go. As much as you can do it, if you can lean back and, and, and get more of that, that motion, you're going to, yeah, the, the more you can keep your, your hips up, the better. And the more similar, it, the more you can look, the more you can keep these hips up when you go down, go, now, now, now go down, yeah, the more you can keep them up, the better. I mean, you're doing it great, and, and you're doing it great too. And the more you can laugh while you're doing it, even better. Because that's the whole idea. Um, as part of the sport exercise, we're going to do two, two exercises. You already know them and you just learned them. Is, <laughs> um, it's going to be, basically, we're going we're to be doing this motion. One, one, and one. So like this, and like this. So the motion would be as if someone had something, and they're coming and attacking you. So let's go ahead and go through the whole thing. So the, the two motions we'll be doing, the two exercises we'll be doing, is it's like Taibo, I guess, is one, two, three. We turn around, we do it again. One, two, three. And, and, and we keep on, we repeat that. It'll be either up or down. Down or up. So that would be motion one. Let's go ahead and show the practicality of it. If someone had a knife, a dangerous butter knife, so let's go ahead and we'll do it to the side so, so people can see it. Let's just say I came up, not I, but someone came up, they had a nice really slow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, chest, chest. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, you would do it, you would, you would do it right there, but we're not going to do it there because I can't talk and explain it. So here, boom, one, and now kick, kick. Boom, yeah, kick, kick, kick. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be the human. One, one, two. Good, 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 good. Don't attack that crow with a butter knife. Okay. So really slow. Good. Yeah. Good. Now kick, kick. Boom. Really good. Yeah. Keep, <laughs> keep on kicking them. All right. So, so that'll be motion one. The second one. The second one that we'll be doing is like Taibo too, right? You know, it's moving around. So it's the same kind of idea when we're doing it. Um, the second one is we're going to be, we're basically going to, this is the motion, we'll be, but we'll be doing it faster, is down, side, and then you have a lot of options here. Kick, and then kick. Two kicks. Yeah, two kicks. It could be two, two side kicks, it could be front kicks again. That's fine, and then we'll turn around, and we're going to do the same motion, up, down, side, kick, kick, turn back. And we'll be doing it fast, like it were Taibo. So let's go ahead and see the application of this. So, well, turn around. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very polite chokist. So go down, and then you strike the person right, yeah, right, right there. Ugh. And now, now hold on, let me, let me get my pad. And then, good, good, yeah, very good, okay. Now, I hold this. So, I'm choking. Okay. 
Very good. There you go. That's it. That's the application. But we'll be doing it in Taibo style with some intensity. Thank you for watching. Come join us. We're going to go and get our exercise in for the, for the day. You can see some more free videos, Slim Strong Healthy, or I come invite you to join us on the full exercise video. Very good. Thank you.